All right, it's only Tuesday, but it's time for a best sale of the week video. And here's my best sale of the week. I haven't had many hundred dollar sales in the past couple of weeks. Most of my sales have been smaller, uh, like 20 or less, because I've been putting on a bunch of games, GameCube and PS2 games, games that I had at the shop, games that I had the flea markets, games that weren't selling, games that I just uh, feel like moving along. Um, getting rid of. So here it is. Uh, 124.99. What did I sell? God bless me. That's not any uh, virus or anything. That's just me sneezing. I have allergies. All right. What did I sell? Fenton, uh, Pouncing Cat, Blue Carnival, Art Glass, Hand Painted Flower, signed S. Hopkins. Um, the S stands for Shelly. And uh, let me show some some pictures of it. So you can see what it is. Uh, is is this? Let me just. Is this? Uh, hold on. Get rid of this. It is it normal for Fenton Art Glass cats to sell for this amount? I'm going to say no. Uh, this one's an unusual one. This is a pouncing cat. Now I might do some research later to see if I find other cats that look like this that are selling for way less than this. Um, just. To, to see if I just broke the record, if I sold it for more than anybody else. Uh, it did take me quite a while to sell these, uh, sell this one. It took me over two years. Uh, let me check the date again. Let's, uh, then I'll show the pictures again. Um, yeah, I had it listed, listed since February 2018. Okay, let me go back to the pictures. So here it is. Uh, here's uh, just views of it. I'll show you my pictures. Then I'll show you the actual thing because I have it. I'm going to be packing it. Um, the lady was very nice. She was very happy to get the pouncing cat. Uh, um, the funny thing is, is I've had this on and off sale for quite a while now. Uh, every time I've been running a sale, I take I've uh, taken an either anywhere from twenty to thirty percent off of it, and it just finally sold no sale, full price, which uh, I'm happy about. You know, again, I don't believe. It's normal for most Fenton cats to sell for this. In my personal experience, it's not. Uh, hand painted and signed is very is, is good. Uh, I would like to say that when it comes to buying Fenton glass, I think the more contemporary figural and figurine stuff does better than a lot of the old uh, uh, fancy utilitarian or, or, or frilly glass, uh, the antique stuff, uh, silver crest things like that. These are lighter and easier to, to ship. I've even sold little t uh, teeny Fenton. Uh, figurines about this big animals for 20 25 bucks a piece again 124.99 that's not usual but I'm I'm happy to have that sale especially such a large one uh, especially since this week I've mostly been dealing with just like video games uh, old stock video games that I haven't I never got a chance to test or or I had them at the flea market or the store and I just weren't moving since I have you here uh, if you do see f uh, Fenton glass like this, figural, right? I would say never be afraid to pay like ten bucks for it, because it's generally worth twenty and up. And and, and th again, this one's unusual. Normally, I'd expect the cat figurines to sell. I mean, people price them really high sometimes, but they don't really sell. Um, uh, like 125.99. Yeah, it's it's unusual. They don't really sell this high uh, very often. I believe it's because it's the pou pouncing cat, and I believe that's rare. Um, but again, they generally sell always more than 20, but usually 35 to 45. All right. Uh, since I'm here, let me just see if I I wrote anything special. Yeah, it, it's Shelley Hopkins. I had written that down. Hand painted flower sign S for Shelley Hopkins. All right. Let's go back. Oh, you know what's funny? I was I, uh, I immediately I took this out of the package and I dropped it. <laughs> I was like, God damn! I was like, Lord, let me make a video of this, and I went I went to uh, take, make the video and I dropped it on the floor and I'm like, God damn! But it was it was in paper, so I looked at it carefully and it, and it wasn't damaged anyway, which I'm happy about because uh, there was another time I went to make a video of something and I broke it, <laughs> and I and I just said I just gave it to uh, the guy who bought it. I said, Here, just take it. And uh, he was happy to get it because it was like an old chalk figurine. And he said, no problem, I'll just fix it. Anyway, let me show you some of the other sales I had. I'll show this one. 
this is uh, one of the video games. GameCube games are selling exceptionally well, but I, I will also say that all games have bumped up in price a little bit. The Herb Sims a video game, Nintendo GameCube game. Now, again, twenty one ninety nine. This is like out of all the games that I've listed, and I listed stuff that were common. I was selling them at the the store, the flea market, like five dollars, four or three for ten. This one is one of the ones that I had at the shop, priced at five dollars. I guess because of the virus, because everybody started, wanted to have games and play and stuff like that, it bumped in price twenty one ninety nine. And I've been pricing these games lower than everybody else. Not a lot lower, but a little bit lower because I, I was willing to sell them for $5 at one point, so it doesn't matter. I'm actually selling – AJ called me. He was making fun of me. He's like, you're listing games for $6? I'm like, dude, what's the difference? You know, If they don't sell at the store, uh, they don't sell – at the flea markets, they don't sell at all, and I'm just I'm not researching every game before I list it. I just take the game, take the picture, and then just list it for whatever. So basically, I I have sold six dollar games. That's my threshold, though. I, I won't go below that. So that's one of the better games that I sold. I I'll just keep going though. Uh, this this I'll show because it's interesting. It's only a, a nine ninety nine uh, sale, but it is a small figure. It's twenty eleven, not even that old. Twenty eleven, Hasbro Marvel. Universe Series 2 Ghost Rider. It's like four and a half inches uh, tall. It's an action figure. Uh, let me just show one picture that you can see. Uh, how did I get this one? I actually have a bunch of action fl figures floating around the house. But uh, a few weeks ago, I was like, oh, let me see if I can buy stuff on eBay to resell. I haven't been doing it so much lately because it's very time consuming. I don't need anything. Uh, and I'd rather just list, do the work, uh, like be working on what I have. In a few weeks, actually, sales are starting. Columbus has started again. Meadowlands will be starting soon, not yet. Other flea markets. So if I want to go shopping, plus the thrift stores have been opening, I can shop. So it, it doesn't matter. Plus I've been thrift store shopping and I bought stuff. And it just goes on, on the pile. I have the pile. And the pile just, even now, uh, even now that i barely been buying anything, it, it just gets bigger, bigger, bigger all the time. So uh, the reason I'm showing this is because this is the first action figure. I finally got around to listing them uh, last week. Let me just check the date. Yeah, I listed it uh, June 6th, so today's the 9th. This has been listed three days. Very quick sale, uh, $10 already. And I believe I paid like 15 or 16 for the lot. So after everything's said and done, I'm, I got like 6 bucks uh, back so far. So I got, you know, I, I think I had about 10 figures or so. All right, let's keep going. Oh, here's something I bought. Oh, my God, like, all right, it's going to show is not that long ago that I had it. Yeah. Oh, I've had it for two years, but I haven't had it for two years. I bought these and I've been listing to them in individual lots like four or five years ago, and it took forever to sell the first one. Um, but now they're selling twenty five ninety nine. I think I paid one to two dollars a piece for these, and I bought a box of. I bought them at the Meadowlands off of some guy that was ditching them, and I took them home and I saw, gee, they don't really sell that much. So I said, you know what, I'll lot them in lots of two, twenty five ninety nine, because they sell like nine, ten bucks, and they don't sell quickly. But every time I sell one, uh, the profit is. Like twenty five ninety nine, I was able to actually uh, ship this first class for five bucks. So the profit on this and add, it, I'm just gonna say I paid two to p two a piece, which I don't believe I did, but I'm gonna say I did nine dollars. So the profit on this is roughly uh, what's that nine dollars uh, twenty seven uh, eBay fees. I don't know, like fourteen dollars, seven bucks a piece. And I would never be able to sell these at the flea market. And that's the thing about eBay. Uh, if you are a store seller, and you're listing on eBay, you are in for the long haul. Uh, and that's that's just an example. Uh, here's something that my wife, uh, Marie, listed and it immediately sold. She sold this on, well, not immediately, but uh, same as when I listed the action figure uh, three days ago. I don't know if you've ever seen these, but these are the, uh, what do they call them? They're like uh, pin art. You know, there's a name for these. <sighs> Walco, when you get these sealed, they sell 25 to 35 bucks easy all day. And on uh, vintage 1972 Walco Christmas tree ornament kit, white satin with peacock uh, trim. But there, I don't even. She didn't actually call it like, uh, uh, like it's pin art, and they have like little crystals and stuff you put on it. But they're it's plastic, but they look very pretty. We actually have a bunch of them somewhere. I probably should start buying them at, at yard sales again because I can if I'm willing to list stuff for ten bucks, I should buy this stuff and it'll ship for like three or four dollars. This is more for when um we actually are at the store, AJ and myself, 
Um, which, believe it or not, um, we could have been in the store like quite a while, quite a while ago, um, and dealing and just kind of doing like curbside and stuff. But our problem is the store does not have electricity, and I'm not, I'm not paying. Uh, it, 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 it didn't meet the agreement that we had in the lease. We didn't have electricity, so we we still have the lease. We still plan to go to the store, but until we get electricity, I'm not moving in. I'm not paying any uh, any rent. Even uh, but the landlord does have a big fat uh, deposit from us. Uh, so that's what's happening with the store. We need electricity, and we need to have the store inspected. The the store owner didn't have the store. Um, inspe- the, the store was empty for like four or five years. So anyway, that, that's what's going on in the store. The store, if it doesn't happen this month, because we're one-third into the month, and we thought we'd be in this month, it'll happen very, hopefully very soon, or I, I guess by next month, the latest. But anyway, if you see these these ornaments or kits, they people like them. They sell on eBay. Um, assembled, they don't sell for as much. Unassembled, they can sell for twenty five, thirty five. Here's an interesting Monet necklace. This was a decent little sale, fifty bucks. Uh, how long do we have it on for? Not that long. Uh, February fourteenth. So just, I guess, uh, four months. You know. Uh, let me just take show you this. Like most Monet jewelry, does not look this this. I'm gonna say fabulous. You know, it doesn't look this good. Uh, this one does. Let me do a, a few close ups. It was heavy too. That's what the chain looks like. That's what the uh, pendant ha- that hangs in the center looks like. Uh, that's what the clasp looked like, and that's signed Monet. Uh, fifty bucks. You know, most Monet does not sell for fifty bucks. So that was a pretty good sale. And, um, oh, and this was at the flea market for, like, freaking ever. Uh, oh, here's another game, Street Hoops, GameCube sale. I listed these May 30th. So, like, within 10 days, I've sold, wait a minute, May 30th, March, April, May, June. Yeah. I, within uh, 10 days, or 11 days, I've sold about 50% to 60% of all the GameCube games that I've listed. So they're selling well. I mean, 10 bucks. Uh, but I would have sold it at the store for five bucks, and it would have been the same. But it didn't sell, so it sold. That that's that's what it's all about selling stuff. Here's something goofy, and I'll just show it because it's a goofy item. It is a silver tone, Weight Watchers Award charm holder, umbrella charm, and they were both new in package. Uh, I think I don't know where we got these from, but let me just show you what it looks like. Like eighteen bucks for this. So if you if you see these Weight Watcher charms at yard sales, uh, it looks like you can get about eight or, or nine or ten bucks a piece. And if you list two, then all right. Let me just keep go, going down. Uh, here's a BS game, Vector Man Sega Genesis. Um, it did sell rather quickly though. I have another Ve- Vector Man game, so I'll list it. But I don't, I don't feel like showing that. Uh, Vintage Gorm Sterling Silver Chantilly Demi Tess. Like thirteen bucks. That's just a silver spoon. It's like a no big deal sale. So you know, it it it, it sold for more than scrap. You know, so oh here uh, oh here's the Animal Crossing. This is I made a, a video complaining about this game, where the seller wanted me to when the where the buyer the initial buyer wanted me to ship it to a different address and I'm like no 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 so I said listen I'll just cancel the transaction I'll relist and you could buy it that person didn't rebuy it uh the fishy thing is is someone in Maryland uh rebought it and that's they wanted it to go to an address in Maryland but the address that this person bought it from was not Maryland so I don't know <laughs> it wasn't listed very long uh let me just see how long it was listed Oh, well, obviously not long because I relisted it. So it was listed like three days. It was listed three days ago, uh, bought, canceled transaction, then two days ago. 25 bucks. Uh, this is definitely up um, from what it was selling at. And it's it's a decent sale, you know. I, this, was, this is stuff that I had on the floor um, out of my way. But whenever I went to get something, I would kick it. <laughs> other stuff so it was just you know it was something that i it's like i i have literally things and money laying around the house and i just need to get to it It, it's it's like maybe i'll show you like all the ps2 that and all the games that i've listed and and i'll just show you my page or let's see 
Okay, uh, here is, I might as well talk about this. This is bone. Uh, it's, it's, I believe it's ivory. But we did not say that. Uh, because every time we list something as ivory or, or plastic ivory or faux ivory or whatever, it just gets canceled, right? We had to set the flea market, did not sell. Um, so we put it on eBay, and here's our title, Vintage Carved Tulip Bead Necklace and Carved Clip uh, Back Earring Lot, right? They found it, and they bid it up to $36, which is not a lot. It, this is probably worth way more, but I don't want I don't want to take the chance selling at the flea market. And if they had canceled the transaction on eBay, I would have... Oh, look at that clasp. Isn't that, like, amazing? You know, you don't see clasps like that. I wouldn't have sold that. Uh, at the flea market, and if they had canceled the transaction, I, I told Marie, look, it, if it is ivory, right, and or, or they cancel the transaction, we just don't list it. Uh, you know, you just either save it or, or whatever we do, right? So anyway, um, the funny thing about this was someone messaged us, and they were like, what is this material? Is it bone? Is it plastic? Is this? And you know what I did? I just ignored it because I'm not saying what I think it is. It's just look at the pictures. They want a closer picture. Just ignored it, and guess who bought it? The person that emailed me. So it's like they knew what it was. Uh, even if I didn't, all right, and, and maybe I did, I don't know, um, perfume, another animal cross, what, I had two, oh, that's the one that was canceled, that's the buyer that, that just like, yeah, sent it his different address, and I was, no, here's some more examples of inexpensive games that I sold, Matt Hoffman's Pro, uh, BMX 2, like eight ninety nine. a burnout game, five ninety nine. that's why I said, I sold some for as little six, uh, six bucks, The Sims 2 DS, Eight ninety nine, uh, engraved charm, uh, twelve ninety nine, uh, but you can see nine ninety nine, six ninety. So this, I just these games are very easy to list. So I said, you know what, I'm just gonna list all these games, and I'll it'll force me to, to put other stuff on the shelves when I get the shelves. I, I won't be lazy about it, and I think I think I'm not gonna, I think I'm gonna probably list a lot of games online for now. I think that's probably far back enough for that. You know, because I think I've showed um, these other things. Well, maybe not. Yeah, maybe I did. The Brighton, Croc, and Enamel Ball. Yeah, I did because there's my... Oh, no, maybe I didn't because Vintage Karen... This was my, my last sale of the week. So I probably didn't show this nice Taxco uh, necklace and make that bracelet. See? That's nice. It has multi-stone. It's got a good clasp. There it is. Uh, when you see Mexico TL, the T stands for tax go. So if you didn't know that, now you do. 50 bucks. What would I have gotten at a flea market for that? I believe 15 or so. That was a pretty good sale. Not not uh, sale of the week material, but a pretty good sale. And here, I might as well show this. Uh, Brighton stuff can sell on eBay. It may not always sell for a lot of money, but it, it can sell. This was listed uh, not very long. Uh, I don't believe it was an auction. I believe it was a buy it now. And this is just a Brighton Croc Emboss black, uh, brown, uh, black and brown leather. I, I don't know if... I guess it's leather. I, she didn't write faux leather. Mirrored lipstick case, 15 bucks, Easy sale. Uh, shipping was like $3 or $4. Uh, all right. Now, let me, just, let me just show you what I was talking about, how I've been listing games. And we're just... We're mostly on this trend of where we're listing... Just give me one. Wait a minute. Here it is. Items for sale. They were just on this this trend. I'm like, I just I'm going to list games. And I actually I have to run a new sale too. And here we go. Newly listed. And here, um, these are games that I've had at the flea market or at the store for five or less. Uh, no, five, maybe sometimes as much as ten. But they just weren't selling. So here's a Simpson game, eleven ninety nine. Just listed that this morning. Uh, a Showdown Legends of Wrestling PlayStation. I probably had this at at the store. This game, ten ninety nine. I probably had the store. I would sell this stuff for five dollars, cash. Not go through the trouble. And I do. I do test all these. Here's a Malice game. I know for a fact I had this for five nine. Here's uh, I had way more of these these things. I relisted that another twenty five ninety nine. Real Pull. Um, it's almost an impossible game to sell at the flea market. I listed it for seven bucks. Primal seven bucks. Uh, this twenty two ninety nine. That was a bit of a surprise. Uh, Dragon. Oops, I oh here, I screwed this up. 
It says Transformer. The game greatest hits with bonus this PlayStation 2. I have Dragon. Let's see if I if I just screwed up the title. Yes. Okay. It's good. It's actually Capcom Breath of uh, Fire Dragon Card. That's good. So now I can revise this. <laughs> I can fix my mistake and then relist it. Some jewelry and games. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Yeah, as you can see, Marie is less faster than I do because I'm constantly doing other stuff. So it's way more of her listings. And there's oh here I listed more of the action figures. I think I paid like fifteen dollars for them. The, here you go, twelve ninety nine, eight ninety nine, eleven ninety nine, ten ninety nine, more games. Uh, anyway, let me go finish that. Let me go fix that listing before I forget. I'm out of here. Thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.